Hello and welcome to round five of the 2023 NRL predictions. Uh, currently not not doing too bad, you know. Um, must say that I didn't get all the tips right in round four, but sometimes just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, good good news coming out of the weekend. Broncos are still on top of the ladder, so it's a good year to be a Broncos fan so far. Hopefully nothing spoils that this year. Hopefully nothing, but anyway, uh, Titans have the bye this week, so good news for them. Just when they lose their half this, well, most of their spine in Foreign and Brimson, um, so it's going to be a tough year for the Titans again. Uh, you, you could probably say it's been a tough year ever since they've come into the competition, but here we are. Uh, so let's have a look sees at the ladder. As you can see, I got five out of eight uh, of my tips uh, correct in round four, uh, which brings me just over half of my tips correct for the season so far. Unfortunately, I'm going to be... I don't think I'll be able to actually... Oh, uh, can I? What's, what's the next one? 40. Yeah, I could bring it. My percentage up a bit higher uh, throughout the year. Um... Still one team undefeated. Again, that's my team, the Broncos. So it's it's definitely a good year. And then you've got the Tigers down the bottom with no wins still. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, still, I feel as though the season so far is probably the most even it has been for a few years. Uh, you don't have your dominating teams like uh, your Roosters and Storm. Every year, uh, I guess you could say the same for the Rabbitohs. Uh, is it is good to see teams like that top four: Broncos, Eagles, Dolphins, Warriors. Broncos, you could say in their history they have been a dominant team, but the past let's go ten years. Actually, no. When did they make the grand final? Like twenty seventeen. Um, so when whenever they lost to the Cowboys in that grand final, they've been on uh, they've been on the downhill run. Um, so it's good to see them finding success, um, which is great for a supporter like myself for the Broncos. And people can say Broncos have always, you know, been helped by the NRL with the salary cap issue. But come on, we've got the Roosters in the comp, and they've been in the comp since day dot pretty much. So what are we talking about here? Um, but anyway, let's look into the weekend's rounds. Oh. Some good games this weekend, um, I must say. Uh, we start the weekend off with Roosters versus Eels on Thursday night. Um, but we'll, we will go into these these games uh, a little bit more. Uh, Raiders Panthers, the first game on Friday. That should be an interesting game. Uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs versus Storm. This might potentially be my game of the round. Uh, these two teams, so it'd be interesting to see how that one goes. Uh, Seagulls versus Knights um, to start the Saturday games. Dragons versus Dolphins, which might be a good game to watch. Uh, Broncos Tigers. Tigers. This one game, and we could probably talk about it more when we get to it, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Broncos lost to Tigers. Just one of those things. Uh, Sharks Warriors should be a good game and then to finish the round we've got Bulldogs Cowboys and of course Titans got the bye round this time so let's have a look at the games uh, the first game Roosters vs Eels as you can see the last five games uh, loss win win bye loss 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 win unfortunately I wish the Eels were still on a on a losing streak because that that would be just fantabulous that their best friend is actually a, a, a bloke called Owen, um, which would have been great. But unfortunately, they uh, they beat the Panthers in the grand final rematch. So who would have who would have thought? Uh, Roosters they they should be feeling a bit fresh. That they, they had the bye. Remember I said the Eels are pretty much versing. I think next weekend might be the last time. Uh, they're versing teams that are coming off a bye. So. They're, they're going to be struggling here, the Eels. This will be a tough period, getting that win against Panthers that have come off a bye. 
um, is very very good for a moral support uh, for that for that group. So they can back it up this weekend against the Roosters. They probably probably can. Um, especially the Roosters are playing terrible. I know they're pl my pick for premiership uh, winners, but they're playing terrible this year. Even with all that money buying players, they still can't formulate a game properly. Um, this will be a good game. Uh, as you can see, their record: uh, two wins, one loss, one buy, one loss, win, th uh, one win, and three losses. And my pick, obviously, is the Roosters. I th again, if you're coming off a buy, you are generally more fresh. Uh, if you've got players come, uh, of injury or suspension, they're going to be back. Um, I think Roosters can definitely start their slow build uh, for the season and then heading into the finals. Um, so that, that buy probably came out a good point where at the start of the season they were, they were struggling so, so much already um, just in their game plan. I think this will be very good for them. So, good stuff on them. Next game, we got Raiders versus Panthers. Raiders, if if you ask me to pick another team for Wooden Spoon, um, it would have been Raiders. I picked the Knights, and I still believe that Raiders could uh, could be in the running for it. Uh, but then you do have the Tigers, who they're probably already won the spoon already. Uh, so they're going loss, loss, win, loss, and then the Panthers loss, win, loss, buy. Um, again, same thing as Roosters. I think this buy is probably coming at a good time for the Panthers, just to kind of reset. Like um, they haven't been playing a good. There is something in my eye, and I can't get rid of it. Uh, they haven't been playing good footy at all. So I think I think this is a good thing for them, as much as I don't like the Panthers. Uh, so yeah. And for this game, I will pick the Panthers because the Raiders are just shocking. Like, let's be real. They're not playing well. And the Saturday, oh, the Friday. This is the last Friday game. Uh, Rabbitohs versus Storm. This will be a very, very good game to watch. Uh, both teams are on two wins, two losses, which probably would be surprising to a lot of people. Um, oh, I didn't put my pick in. I didn't put my pick in. Oh, hang on. Let me just quickly have a look to see what the team lists are. This will be interesting. I totally forgot that I need to put my pick in. Because I didn't want to put a pick in until I saw what the teams were kind of looking looking like. Here we go. Um, I'm not going to lie. I still... My heart told me to pick Storm. And I... Oh, it's because they got Nick Meany and they got Cameron Munster. But they've got a few... Actually, no, they don't. This, oh, this is still a hard, hard team to pick. I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to go Rabbitohs. I'm going to go Rabbitohs for this game. Um, I really wanted to pick Storm. And I might regret picking Rabbitohs. Um, but, oh, do I? Because they've got a few players. Uh. Yeah, no, let's go Rabbitohs. Let's do it. Log it in. Let's go Rabbitohs. Uh, Manly versus Knights. Knights are just... Surprisingly, even without Ponga, they're probably playing better without Ponga, low-key. Um, but still... Still not the greatest. Um, they managed to get a win last weekend, which is very surprising. Um, but in saying that, I'm going Manly. Manly, I think, are one of the more informed teams. Um, even though they just lost uh, last weekend. Um, I can't really remember that game. Oh, hang on. I've got my phones right here. They can tell me who they just lost to. Lost to Rabbitohs. So, 
Actually, that might back my th my game. Actually, do they Rabbitohs have the same team? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly. 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 Dragons. Dolphins. I really, I really wanted to back the Dolphins as much as possible. Unfortunately, they've got some injuries and Kafusi is still out with suspension. Uh, what well, they have three injuries on the weekend alone. Um, but they will pull up a fight, I think. But still being a fresh new team, I think having that core spine not being there, I think would definitely definitely hurt the game plan a bit. Um, and I think Dragons will bounce bounce back after two losses. So yeah. Uh, Broncos vs Tigers. Again, picking the Broncos because they're my team. And I'm fully trying to back them as much as possible this year. You know, the past few years I'm like, I can't do it. They're breaking my heart. Um... And that's only because it's tipping. I'm here to win tipping. Um, as much as I'm almost, I'm just over 50% tip rate at the moment, which we can look past. Uh, it's football. And the first two rounds are definitely questionable of how the games went out. And Tigers, hopefully, will have um, a big Owen next to them. So they can be Owen 5. Ugh, wouldn't be one of that coach who gets fired after actually who was their coach? He was like Robbie Farrell or something. No, it's not Farrell, it's someone who's gonna get fired, that's for sure. Sharks Warriors this probably be a great game, but I think with Nico Hines, Nico Hines he pulled like a hundred and seventy fantasy points. Um or for super coach, super coach points. Um next week I'm hopefully have enough money to get him in my team um having him back is just a huge inclusion and as much as i want to back the warriors i will be back in sharks i'll probably be back in sharks for most of the year um unless they're versus broncos then that will be a great game um but sharks is probably an easy pick for this game bulldogs cowboys this was a little bit tougher um, both two wins, two losses. I feel as though Cowboys haven't probably gelled as good as they have previous years. Like something's just off at the moment for them. Um, in Bulldogs, they're in a what twenty-year team rebuild, so they're getting there. They've got some good players in their team and they just need to figure it out and I think they're starting to do it I do think Bulldogs well Bulldogs should be making the 8 this year just based on what their team is um so yeah doggies oh that's the last game of the of the weekend cool and that is it for my tips for round 5 uh let me know what you think I'm trying to find what best works for me when doing these tips the format um let me know if you like this format better i think for me it is easier um so yeah just let me know and up the broncos